But hopefully you are all doing okay today and saying safe. I'm just making sure this button is working. Hopefully I am recording, but hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. I should have a question of the day, but we save that for a little bit later. So last episode we were building this fountain. It's actually going pretty okay so far. I would say it's going pretty okay. Okay, so this fountain, we've been working on it since yesterday. And it has been going along like a train. Not the best, but you know, it gets where it wants to go. Uh, let's see. I just gotta mine out all this, so now. So I want to grab some stone bricks. And I will put my mini map away for use. Okay, let's see. I do have some other stuff planned today, but I don't know if we can get round to them today. Hopefully I can get round to one of my ideas, because I had this new build idea. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. But it's going to be worth a try if I can do it today. Uh, let's see. Yep, that seems to be working. Uh, break that. That should work. Uh, how long is that over there? Ah, ah, yes. I feel like there was supposed to be a block there and it turns out I was right. Uh, let's see. And then just do the ceiling. Is that right? You know, this is a very complicated, uh, what do you call it? fountain that we're building down here. I also tried to work on the title of the last video because I didn't think it sounded, you know, great. So I got, uh, deep below the land, the fountain lays dormant. I think that's probably the best one that I got so far. Uh, let's see. Just go like that. Uh, like that, and like that, uh, let's see, that should work, I think this is actually coming out pretty good, this uh, water fountain, oh yeah, that's what I need to do today, I totally forgot about this one thing that I needed to do today, and that was uh, work on getting a water tank down here for when I need to put the water in. And I definitely think we can get this done today because it's, it's very close to being finished. Uh, let's see. Let me. No, I don't want to place it there. I want to place it there. There, perfect. Okay, that should work and be lit up perfectly. Not too bad. Uh, let's see. And then I pop that to face that way. So when you're looking at it from the front, you should definitely not see those torches. Yep, actually works out pretty good. Hmm. Should I make this more? But then it's slowed down over here. Maybe I should add a block there. Wait, is there supposed to be? Is this miscounted over here? How does that go? It goes in by one, and I build it on the block. Aha. Uh -huh. So that goes there. And then, I'm missing like a bit right here. But I don't think that really matters now. But I was thinking about tearing down this bit of the wall over here, because I started to not like it. But I'm trying to curve it into like a good shape over here. Like I want to be walking down these hallways in the future and think, Yes, I carved these beautiful hallways. Also, I was thinking about, uh, what do you call it? Random days, random games. And I was thinking about, you know, playing some more games on random days, random games. We keep up the series that we're already, you know, going, like uh, Excaliburian and all that. But we we'll probably also be doing other games. Such as, uh, let me get this torch a second. Such as this new detective game that came out in like the, 
I think it was December. Yeah, it was December that this detective game came out. But I just got it uh, from Keymailer for you know a key for the game, and I'm quite looking forward to it. I would say it'd be very interesting to play for you. And I've, I don't think I've played a detective game in years. When was the last time that I played a detective game? I can't actually remember. Just go like that. And I'll go like that. Okay, that should work. Okay, let's see. That goes up by one. I'm trying to make these hallways look pretty good. Uh, let's see. Also, back to that uh, random days, random game thing. If you do have any, you know, game ideas that you'd like to see me play through, like, hmm, what good games are there? Hmm, I don't really know. I kind of really like random days, random games because I get to play whatever I want most of the time. But I would like to, you know, play some of your suggestions. It is random days, random games. Uh, let's see. And most of the time I just look up games on uh, Steam. That seems very interesting. A lot of the time, you know, they don't actually seem interesting. There was a few that I really liked playing on the channel, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Purgatory. That was a great game. We should play more like games like that in the future. Uh, let's see. Ooh, a side tunnel. I could build something off in this direction if I wanted to. You know, I really need to start using TNT in my build because TNT, you know, clears out a lot of room pretty fast and I want to try using that a lot more. Also, I do have an idea for this direction, off in this direction. I was thinking about this cave down here, it connects up somewhere around here. I was thinking about maybe slotting it, like slotting it so, you know, oh, either I can go down this way or I can take a dive into the water, go through the underwater cave and get to where I want to go. So that's kind of my idea. But the problem is, it's got to take a lot of work to get it, you know, how I want it to be. Uh, let's see. I forgot to put some of my blocks away in the chest over here. Uh, let's see. What do I not want? Basically most of this. We are getting a lot of gravel and dirt, I've realised that. Gravel will be useful for uh, certain blocks concrete and I'm looking forward to doing more concrete builds if you come up with any you know ideas that I could use concrete in. I do have an idea for a bridge but I just can't figure out. Oh, I have a great idea and I think it might work. I'm going to create an area over here but what is in this direction? You know, I've realised something. You know how we build all these caves underground and all that? We're kind of like dwarfs over here, huh? Building, you know, caves underground. And I only realised that today because, you know, we built so many tunnels underground. And I was trying to remember, you know, most of them. Uh, let's see. But we have really built a lot of tunnels underground. Imagine you just log on to watch uh, maybe your first episode of Jungle Paradise and you see that I've built all these tunnels. Uh, let's see. I am looking forward to... Also, wait. I totally... Oh, wait. 664 days. Wow. Ah, oh, can't wait till 1,000 days. Not 6,000 days. 1,000 days. I'm very looking forward to when we get to 1,000 days because, you know, it's 1,000 days. It's one of the biggest goals and that I've not seen in a while. What other goals are there? Hmm. 
I don't really know. Okay, let's see. I did want to fix some of this because I realized that a lot of it is not the best position. Uh, let's see. I could either break everything on the same level or move everything. Wait one second. I can break all of this and then make it all the same level. Yes, I see something. I see a pattern. Yes, that would work. And I could just make like a staircase here, but we keep it all on the same level, it might actually look pretty good. The problem is I do want to use different flooring at some point, because I was thinking about uh, each area of the caves in the future will probably have a different theme to them, but the problem is I'm not very good for coming up with themes, so I would need your help on Deciding what themes go where. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I do really want to see water from that water fountain at some point. I do think it'd be a great idea to get the water soon. Uh, let's see. I will make this look a little bit, you know, nicer over here. Maybe I want to tear down some of this wall over here. Make it, uh, maybe make it a bit more rounder. Never noticed that. Uh, let's see. We haven't really done roundish walls in a long time. I think the last time that we, we did roundish walls was at the very start of the Lush Cave project. And Well, it's actually called the Artificial Cave project, but I, I like the name Lush because, you know, these are basically lush caves down here if you think about it. Not like the modern ones, you know, the ones from the newer update. But more of my own, you know, build style. Uh, let's see. Hmm, I need some torches. I think that's what I needed. I can't remember. Uh, let's see. Need to get rid of that. Okay, let's go empty our, you know, pockets and see what we have that we do not need. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. So, I was thinking about we could grab a water tank from one of our uh, locations. I can't remember where. You know, this does really look nice. Hmm. It kind of reminds me of like VR goggles or something. Hmm. Maybe it's like a frog. I don't really know. I'm trying to go with a cool combination and then put some water up there that drips all the way down. I also have water coming from this so it goes down there and down there but also water in the middle. And I think the water in the middle could look nice but I won't change the stone. I will take that though. I don't know what it is but we seem to be getting a lot of, you know, coal ore. We don't really need it but, you know, we keep getting it. Uh, let's see. I will turn that to stone. Perfect. I think that'll look nice. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I want to make this look nice over here, right? This is going to be the main floor, right? Okay, let's see. Or maybe I could make the main floor a little bit inwards. If we think about it. Yeah, like there. Also kind of have like a curve right here. Maybe make it go all the way. Like maybe we go like this. You know, I really like building while, you know, people are watching because I get to try and, you know, come up with an idea of what this is going to look like. And use it to judge. Uh, let's see. Oh, that, that's starting to take shape. You okay, Gub? Where is Gub anyway? I saw. Ah, there, there you are. I saw uh, Gub was, you know, missing there for a second. Nope. Just, you know, hanging out. Been hanging out for a while, these few episodes. You know, I 
I think I might leave a lot of the granite and maybe put like some, you know, vines somewhere in here. Hmm. I could just scrape this off, you know, the earth here. I think that could be a cool idea. I do like the idea of having curved caves, but I could just annihilate this entire area. Make this open this entire area. Hmm. Hmm. The only problem that I have with these builds is that, you know, we're quite low to the bottom of the earth, like 25 more blocks and we'd be at bedrock. If I ever decided to move, you know, Minecraft up to a newer update, we could probably, you know, well Minecraft can go paradise up to a newer update, we could probably just, you know, go below bedrock, because that, that's what's in the newer update, below bedrock. Problem is, the mods that I use for this series only go up to 1.12.2, so that's why I'm on 1.12.2. But it would be fun to you know, move up to a newer update. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Maybe I have a went like that. Yeah, that could work. Place right through there, but then I want to have it so it kind of curves. Like uh, I don't really know what I'm trying to you know, mean here, but hmm, kind of like a real cave because real caves have a lot of you know curves and edges everywhere, and you can't really do a lot of you know you know curves in Minecraft unless you get stone stairs. I guess that is an option, but I'm not very good with placing stone stairs. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I think that can stay like that, and I think I might, you know, maybe put like stairs here, or maybe bring it back like one block. I think that could work. I'm moving my mouse wire because it keeps falling down the back of my PC. It's very annoying. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. I don't know what I'm trying to get out of this bit here, but I'm trying to, you know, kind of make this look uh, more like cave-like. Kind of like uh, a back of a cave wall. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Also, back to that question of the day. Hmm. Okay, question of the day. Did you know... Or well, it's not really a question, it's more like a fact of the day. Did you know that you can actually still see a lot of uh, dinosaur burrows still around to this day? You can still see where they used to nest and all that. A lot of them still have their eggs in it, you know. Either eggs that didn't hatch or eggs that you were, you know, hatched and then, you know, cracked open, you know, done with. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me try and think of a good question of the day. Hmm. What do you use, use more in Minecraft? Do you use more water or lava? That's the question of the day. Do you use more lava or... Yeah. Water. Uh, let's see. Yep, I think I'm coming on to something here. That, hmm. Maybe I've made this lower note here a little bit nicer. 
So if it went like that. Yes. I think that could work. We also do need to pick up some more wood at some point. Because we are running low on wood a bit. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What's a good block to do for boundaries? Hmm. I do have a lot of gravel. Gravel pattern. Should I try it? Uh, we'll give it a try. It would not, you know, really hurt if I tried, you know, grab a floor. Uh, let's see. I think I would have to build a bit here. Uh, if I can combine dirt and gravel together, maybe. Yeah, I tried to mine, uh, what to call it, stone there with my fist because, you know, I thought it was going to be like dirt for a second before I realised. actually keep this bit but maybe you know shave it down a little bit add a bit of a stone design to it hmm or maybe not trying to come up with floor and it's very hard in this game for some reason. Uh, just put that in there. Put a lot of the stone in here. I don't really have enough room for all the stone in my uh, pink shulker box, so I have to use uh, this chest to hold a lot of the stone. I have realised that the pickaxe is, you know, a little bit low in durability. Uh, let's see. Go like that. If I turn that all, to, all into slabs, it could look a lot better. Plus, you get more. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, how do I want to do this? Hmm. Maybe like that. Okay, that actually could work. I will have to break that bit there because that to make it more even. And that bit there. And then just break some of that. Probably just get some stone brick somewhere around here. Wait one second, I have a great idea. Oh, we used to use a lot of, uh, what to call it? Well, not stone bricks, it's, you know, slurring. We used to use a lot of dirt for slurring. Why don't we use that? It is a lush cave, and it's not really lush if it doesn't have the, you know, proper slurring. 
I use the dirt uh, again from all this uh, adventuring into this cave system. Yeah, I have plenty of other caves that I could be working on right now, and I'm you know continuing to work on this one. Uh, let's see that could work. Yep, that should do nicely. And uh, we'll break that like that. Yeah, I would say dirt slurin is probably nearly the cheapest uh, material that we could use for slurin. So they had a skeleton there. Light that up. Any more dirt? Neo. Let's go grab a whole couple of stacks of them. Okay, let's see. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Now, we got Slorin. I was thinking about just making this wood, but you know, I kind of like the idea of dirt Slorin now. Plus, it'll look a lot better once we get the grass growing on it. Remember, no grass, no next lower. Uh, let's see. Hey, wait. I have an idea. Like that. I have an idea. Okay, this could work. If I go like this, web the, uh, you know, dirt, it should work out pretty well, and I keep messing this up. Uh, let's see. Slabs aren't the easiest to work with, remember that. Uh, let's see. That is going to work. Yep, that works out pretty well there. And then there'll be a bit that goes off here. We're using the, you know, same dirt that we just placed as, you know, what do you call it? Barriers for us. Uh, let's see. actually turning out quite well. I do really enjoy this bit of the build. It does really remind me of when we first started this uh, build a while ago. That was a long time ago now. Uh, let's see. Well, it's weird to see how much progress we've actually made with this build. We've made a lot of progress. Uh, let's see. I would say the worst thing that we've ever built in this uh, artificial cave would have to have been uh, the furnace room. With all that furnaces. The most expensive room. Probably in the entire, you know, artificial cave or lush cave project. Could have to have been. Would have been that uh, one cave. But yeah, I do use a lot of stone bricks, so, you know, that might be not the best example more. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What else could we talk about? So I'm recording this quite late. It's past midnight and I would have had, you know, a couple more episodes up, but I was thinking about cancelling it because I did not, you know, feel the best. I'm just uploading, you know, when I woke up again. But I decided to, you know, record the now gotten a sudden, you know, urge to record again. Uh, let's see. And also hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
Ooh, lapis. That is the rarest thing to see down here. Probably. Then we just find diamonds out of nowhere. Don't laugh at me, gop. Eh, uh, let's see. If I go like that. This is actually turned out pretty good, I would say. I'm kind of just making like a, what's a good example, like a pillar in the middle. Kind of like what we've done with a, uh, what, what was that bit called again? I can't remember. It was a while ago, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, let's see. Just put a light there. that that would work okay shove some of this what I do not need in here uh, anything else that I do not need some of the stone can go in there too. plenty of it to go around around here Here a zombie. Hmm, should really light this up a little bit better. There's a few dark spots that need taken care of. If I have a go like that, I can curve that around a little bit. That should work, I would say. Okay, let's see. Hmm, and then I might have to extend that over here. Hmm. Okay, that could work. Make the pillar a bit on this side and then you'll carve it together after. I'm missing a bit here. That should work. And that should be where we start cutting it, cutting it down. Here we are. Perfect. I think I might just switch to using you know, the other pickaxe because it has more durability. Uh, let's see. I don't really need to mine up all this granite. Hmm. If we carve it like this, we should get like a pillar looking, you know, area. Sorry, I need to scratch my side there. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, keep on carving that. same level? Yeah, I can just make a bit that goes around here. 
So if I want to, I could, you know, add something around here. Make it look a little bit more, you know, better. Light that up because it's very dark down here. Eh, uh, let's see. Click that up to now. Yeah, that would work. Hmm. Let's go check the chest now. Put a lot of this in here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's just grab all of this trash. It's better to recycle this trash for something in the future, you know, than to, you know, let it all disappear. Uh, let's see. just a little bit more and place the light there how's that looking to actually put some of this uh, trash away and the side cobble that that yeah, that should be pretty much all that I need to put in there. Put that there. Okay, let's see. Now, that isn't really a pillar no more. It's more like a... Uh, Tiny support over here now. Hmm. But I would say, you know, not that bad, huh? Maybe shaved down from its original size, but you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Take some of this. Mine it all up. everything around here that doesn't actually look that bad what's that behind you oh it's just fossils well hello there zombie how you doing here what's your opinion on uh, I don't think you really have a tongue to you know talk eh? is that is that, is that chili sauce are you really a zombie or are you just acting like a zombie? Here you go. Ah, oh, I hate zombies that. Oh, people who act like zombies. Ah. Oh. Eh, uh, let's see. Just break all of this. And whenever I want to, I can just make a bit that goes all the way down to this area. I probably won't ever access this area for the longest time, but when, you know, the time does come around, I have to be here when I need it. Uh, let's see. And probably, go like this. Go like that. And go all the way around. Okay, that should work. that there. Yeah, that should work. Now I want to just put some dirt there. Now I could just uh, make that go over a little bit more than usual. There we go. Makes it look a little bit nicer. Why does the ground look like it's been lit up by something? It does actually look like that. Need to solve that in the future. But not right now. We have other stuff to do. Uh, let's see. Ok. 
key. They go like this. And that is free to do whatever it wants. Well, I'm free to do whatever I want down here at any time in the future. I don't think I really explore many of these caves now because, you know, it's very complicated with how many. I'm gonna have to make a walkway that goes up that way. Yeah, I made one that comes down this way, and now I'm gonna have to make one that goes upwards this way. Uh, let's see. And, yeah, I was going to make a bit that, you know, over here is going to be like water and all that. Hmm. Well, I guess I can't really now. Unless. Nah. Hmm. I think I might focus on this now. Okay, let's get the water in. It'll look a lot better with the water. It's not 100 complete, 100% complete. Come on, uh, God, I'll put you back in the dog room while I'm going past it. Uh, let's see, I do really need to get some supports up here. I do have a lot of room up here. I haven't been up here in a while. You okay, go. I hear a rat. It's been a long time since I've heard a more creature than a rat. Uh, let's see. Come on, go. Let's look around. I do really like this. I blew a hole in this, uh, you know, top area here, and then I put dirt over it, and it looks absolutely amazing. I would say. And then we can see the starry sky above. I was going to put glass there, but you know, glass would just make it not look that, you know, nice. Hmm. Still need to fix the ceiling. I might as well get that over with the now. Uh, let's see. I probably won't make this lead to anything. That's a problem because a lot of these, uh, I could make something off in that direction, but yeah, yeah, I could. There's a lot of areas that I cannot mine into because it would either lead into the water or I'm going to be too close to the surface. And this is what we completed like two days ago. I do think we did a pretty good job on building this area. It does look very nice. It needs a little bit more lighting up, but you know, and also a little bit more vegetation. I'm going to have some vegetation hanging down from the ceiling over here. Uh, maybe some over there. Do I have any on me now? Nah, I don't have a single bit on me now. Uh, let's see. Also, I do really like this. I built that off camera because the footage that I was recording for that episode and it now replaces another well that bit down there I built basically off camera but it was on camera because I, I hit the start button but it never actually really started and I was so mad uh, let's see you know the Joey tunnel and the Swift Bat tunnel are probably the most used tunnels in my entire base because if we think about it this doesn't have anywhere that it leads to the now I was supposed to do work on it you know make it look a little bit nicer but that never actually happened but I do really like the opening to this cave we got this uh, thing that we it's, it's more like a face of a minecraft character I think I was going with like a skeleton? Yeah, I was going with a skeleton here. Then we also have that lava creeper down the stairs with the sandstone. It actually does really fit into the environment around here. Oh, Lord. Oh, not Lord Hardshell. Lord Hardshell. Hello, how you been? Haven't seen you in a little while. Ah, the open air. There's our wyvern above there. You know, we have not really went to the wyvern area in a long time we should actually go there at some point in the future uh, let's see what did I use for the ceiling over here stone you know what I'm, I'm a little tired of just looking at dirt over here and I feel like yous would not you know, really like this as much uh, 
Let's see. And if I don't do it today, I probably won't do it ever. It probably will be one of the things. You know, when I was building this tunnel, we did make it go like directly that way and it didn't actually really fit. But it does actually look you know, a lot better. Eh, uh, let's see. It may not be much, but this uh, tunnel is probably one of the best. Oh, you can actually see the ancient tunnel. I've looked that up a long time ago. I totally forgot about that. That was uh, the original tunnel that was supposed to go this way. I totally forgot about that. I, I can't even remember building that bit. I remember building something out in that direction, but I don't think it was that. Uh, let's see. Okay, take all of this. Make it look a lot nicer. You okay, Gub? Stop snapping my ear. Uh, let's see. What are you talking about? Oh. Well, I guess I can't really break much of that because I don't want to be break the vegetation above it. Come on, Gub. Let's put you in your uh, room. Time to go back to where you belong. You can lie down there for a while. Hmm. What dog should I take? Sakaran was on its own adventure for a long time in the savannah, so we can't really take Sakaran. Hmm. Bun? I took Bun last time. Let's take King. We've not taken King in a long time. Come on, King. How much health do you have, King? You have 20. All my other wolves are, you know, badly damaged, but King, King's just been, you know, chilling out for the longest time here. I think I've only taken out, taken King out, like, once, or twice. Hmm. Eh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, potato harvest time. Totally, totally forgot about this. Eh, uh, let's see. Actually, do I have any lapis on me? I don't have any lapis on me no more. Normally I carry lapis on me because I might need it in the future. But I think I stopped carrying it a while ago. Uh, let's see, I take these arrows. And uh, anything else. Just shove, uh, whatever I do not want in here. Uh, let's see. I do really like the design that we went with this, but I really need to fix up the roof, huh? Uh, let's see. Ah yeah, wasn't I going to make like an expansion up there? But then uh, I was building that room and it bumped into this room. Uh, let's see. I've been meaning to fix up a lot of the holes around here, but you know, I have not really done anything about it. And if I just go like that, grab a torch, place it there. Yep, that should do. Like a lot of these places are, you know, very lit up. So no mobs can actually spawn here. And we might as well start potato harvesting again. We haven't potato harvested in a long time. But we also get this rare uh, thing called a verdant. Verdant. Strike for verd, verdant. I think it's verdant or verdant. Verdant. Strike. And it's used for the magic mod. And I do want to use some of the magic mod at some point in the future. How about we make a deal? Maybe tomorrow we will do magic. I was saying that I would do magic a couple of episodes ago, but you know, I keep delaying it because I keep getting distracted with all these builds. Uh, let's see. Also, I should really put these uh, one block down in the future because they, they aren't really going into the area due to that one little clip of block there. I don't know what it is, but Minecraft, you know, with hoppers, not very the best thing. Uh, let's see. You know, I should really create more of these, you know, with the artificial backgrounds. I do really like the artificial backgrounds. The only thing is they're expensive. This uh, background probably costs a lot. That can just despawn. 
Uh, let's see. It is good for the soil around here. Throw your granite on the soil. Soil? And it makes the soil stronger. You know, that would make this uh, jungle paradise a lot harder if I had to, you know, make sure the soil was perfect for these potatoes. Hmm. I've always wanted to do the, like, serene season, the impacts, that, like, the, when you, you can plant stuff. But you can, you know, plant it over, you know, all time if you have the certain glass. Like the whole winter, you could have it in this glass chamber the whole summer. And that's all, you know, that's a pretty good idea. Uh, let's see. But Serene Seasons, I don't really think would fit in this series. I would like it in this series. You know, changing up the seasons, that would be kind of fun. Oh yeah, here's when I was be trying to, you know, write out my, you know, entire, uh, hmm family tree of Minecraft comes alive, but it didn't really work out that well. Okay, let's see. A lot of verdant sprigs in here, and they keep building up. And they're very annoying when they do that. Okay, let's see. And I just put that in there. Why is there dirt in here? How long dirt been in there for? Uh, let's see. That can go in there too. Uh, sprigs. What do I do with verdant sprigs? Uh, just put it in there. I'll find a use for the verdant sprig later. Uh, let's see. I really do like this tunnel. Uh, let's see. I was wondering what that red thing was there. It's my rose bushes scared the life of me. I thought there was like a new kind of mob in the game. Uh, let's see. Everything just seems to be going purple around here. Hmm. What am I looking for? I think I'll look for this up here. That should work. And I put that in. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I was thinking about transporting a lot of my uh, already done, what do you call it? Yo! Know, hmm. I would need another shulker box, but the thing is shulker boxes. Wait. I thought I had one there. Okay, let's make a temporary shulker box that will house uh, the supplies. Well, not really supplies. I just wanted a shulker box so I can put some of this stuff in it. I need to come up with a colour pattern. Okay, let's see. And I just shove this in like a chest or something. I don't really need any of this stuff. Well, silk, silk touch can stay in there. Thorns too, that can go. Anything that's not useful to me. Efficiency 1, Silk Touch, Thorn Flame, Punch. Power 5, Feather Fallen 4, Luck of the Sea, that's good. Lure 3, Slame, Film Flame. Film Slame is a very weird enchantment due to the. what I think it comes from the Champions mod. That is in like Champion mobs. And it's not very uh, useful then. I don't really think I have any use for them. Uh, let's see. Death Strider, Protectrail, Breaking, Sharpness 5, Slame, Smite. Slame and Smite. Well, Slame and Smite. I think I keep that there. And then just get rid of all these books. i put some of these in here, as they're the good books. Uh, let's see. So I got to like here. Look at the C1. Frostwalker. You know, I would like Frostwalker on my boots. But Frostwalker, I don't want to be trapped under the ice. And I'm trying to, well, I want to, you know, be able to swim. But I don't want to be able to get trapped under the ice due to my own boots. And, you know, suffocate. So, you know, we're not actually going to take that. Respiration 1. 
feather fall on three. Luck of the Sea two. Helm Slam, Unstable, Death Strider one. Let's go like that. That is that. Cool. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, Death Strider one and Helm Slam. And that should be all the good books there. And only the good books. I will keep, you know, certain books that might be useful in case I break, you know, some gear or something. Like a bow or something. Uh, let's see. I've been actually remaining to repair my bow. It has been going up, like, little bits throughout this entire series. I s yeah, I got it from fishing that bow. Uh, let's see. I will take that iron out. And the reason why I'm taking this iron out is so I can split it. And then put it also in there. Split that, put that in there, go like that. That should all cook over time and give me a lot of iron. I do think I have some stuff in here. Yeah, just random stuff that I don't really need. Hmm. Okay. Totally forgot about, you know, these ones here. I don't really think I need any of these. So we break this, and then maybe I make a chest or two. Yeah, I think I make a chest or two. Uh, let's see, go like that. A chest, and then probably throw that on the ground there. Put that there. Put that there. Okay, that should be perfectly fine, and I will take some of the leaves at some point in the future. I actually really need to organize and throw out some stuff that I don't really need. Like the slime balls, they are not very useful to me. I do have a use for leather, but I've kind of just made a little area for the leather to you know, build up every once in a while. Hmm. Let's see. I haven't had a chest in here since like season 4. I used to keep a chest in here always. But then I stopped keeping it in here, and I think I popped that purple shulker box in there. Oh, hello there, King. I totally forgot about you, King. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's actually grab another shulker box. And the reason why I'm going to grab another shulker box is so I have like four shulker boxes on me. And just in case I ever need it for, you know, spare stuff. It's basically what the pink shulker box is. Uh, let's see. I should really go back to the end at some point and get some more of these shulker boxes. I've never used as much shulker boxes in my life as I have with this series. Like in a SMP or something. Oh, my voice almost broke there. In a SMP or something, I would definitely not be using shulker boxes. I normally just keep everything on hand. Uh, let's see, actually, five, I will take that, this is what I need for that water tank, if I could find a water tank it would be very useful, uh, let's see, hmm, what did I not need in here again, uh, take that, hey wait, wooden knife, where is it? Not in here. Is it in this one over here? I think it's in this one over here. Nope. Where, where did it go? I used to have uh, a wooden sword in here. It was my son's, but I think I, think I might have used it on like a mob or something. I can't really remember. Wait, that one poppy, I put you in here. Never thought you would have a reason, but it turns out you do have a reason. And that is to make purple. Uh, let's see. And now, if I add white to purple, I should get magenta? I don't know how that how it works. How do I get magenta? 
Let me go check what shulker boxes are there. Shulker boxes? Is that purple? That's magenta. Yeah, so purple's just purple. Uh, hmm. How do I make magenta? Magenta. Oh yeah, we also do need to finish off a arm, pink and purple. So if I get red once again, if I get some red now. I do need to finish off the berserker armor of the... What's the mod called? Uh, of the RPG inventory mod. And I'm looking forward to finishing, you know, all the armor sets. I think there is weapons that you can get. I haven't gotten the withered one. But we can get the... I think I have the full of the archer. And I have the full archer set. Uh, let's see. Oh, so one of these are my uh, original iron armor, I think. Yeah, I don't really see it out here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna pluck one of these a second. Okay, let's see. If I get one white die and go like this, I should be able to make pink, and pink is made that way, into magenta. And then if I combine this with the normal shulker box, I get a purple shulker box, but it's actually magenta. Let's actually see how this looks a second. Ah, that, that is actually pretty nice. It stands out from the normal purple, but does actually look pretty nice. Hello there. What day are we on anyway? Day 667. Well, let's see. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, let's see. But I do think we have run out of time for today, but I do want to check out something before I do end today's episode. I do really like these lampposts that I built. Uh, let's see. Do I not have it here? Hmm. I saw I would have it here, but it seems like I do not. I was going to make a water pipe here. Well, I guess I could make some. Uh, break that. Uh, let's see. I do think these can transport lava, but they break after a certain time. Uh, let's see. But I think I could make one of these uh, tanks. I make a tank and then we end today's episode. Okay. That seems like a pretty good deal. One, two, three. That goes like that. And I'm pretty sure I remember how this goes. Does it go like that? I can't remember. I know it involves obsidian, but I can't remember how it goes. I can make a mortar. Uh, let's see. Nah, I can't actually make any of that. Okay. We're looking for a tank. And that is a tank there. It's actually glass panes. Did not know that. Uh, let's see. Go like that. Put that there. And it goes... Also, I'm missing one. Obsidian. It's really good that we have been gathering up a lot of obsidian. So I would say that's a big plus there. Uh, let's see. Two tanks. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Where would I put glass? I guess I would put in glass. I think I keep that glass on me. Then we just... Hello, there I go. Close the door. Okay. Then we just get uh, these two and I put it under there. It should pour in the water necessary. And I misplaced it there. And it just starts filling up. And you can see it's filling up rapidly. What? I wish it would drain a water source. But that would be kind of too complicated for, you know, the developer of the mod. But if you're interested in this mod, it's called the simple uh, wooden pipes mod. 
And it's actually a pretty good mod. You know what we should get? You know that complicated, uh, I can't remember what to call it. But I remember seeing it back in the day, you know, with the complicated pipes and you, you can transport items through it. We should get one of them. Oh yeah, yeah, the loop at me. Not the loop up his life. I punched that to death there. I'm powerful. Nothing can stop my fist. Uh, let's see. Making sure everything's okay over here. Letting this all up. Yeah, I don't actually think I've been back here a lot. I think I've, you know, maybe occasionally went back here. Like a few times. Maybe when I've been travelling or something. But I don't really think I've been out this, uh, far back in a long time. Uh, let's see. Yep, that should do. Yep. I still look... Oh, wait. I totally forgot. I still look back at this, uh, base. And, you know, see how much progress we have made throughout this entire series. I think I built that. I don't know. I think that might be natural. But we have made a lot of progress throughout this entire series with our base. It's probably the best base in Jungle Paradise Golden Age and Jungle Paradise in a whole. But I did realise, and like, I think it's like three days or two days. I think it's like three or two days from now or maybe four days. It is going to be the one year anniversary of Jungle Paradise Golden Age. One year. Also, I think Donald was trying to escape there. One year. This entire base took me one year to continue to build it. Well, I guess if you take two months off of that, that's when we took a two month break. But, you know, we did work on this base for basically a year. Uh, have a nice day, safe up those apples, maybe even the monsters need to keep up the vitamins. Very, very important. And bye bye, see you next time. Have a nice day, see you, bye bye.